Thank you for joining me. A new record, and this is history as far as weather is concerned. This is Freddie. It has tied what was Hurricane and Typhoon John back in 1994. Let me double check that. That was back in 1994 as the longest lived tropical cyclone period that we have on record anywhere across the earth. And I'm going to dive into that. I'm going to zoom down in just a second. So hang with me. I want to show you that it's unfortunately going to make another uh, pretty big landfall. So I'm going to get into that as it's continuing to strengthen over water right now. Let's get into the forecast. I want to bring you back into the Caribbean. There's a little front clipping by. So the Bahamas, where we have been very dry, Turks and Caicos, a slight chance of a shower today. How about the Cayman Islands yesterday? We had a passing shower, not for all of us, but we had one one or two and we have been super dry here as we know including Jamaica there is a slightly better chance of rain today it's not a super high chance but a slightly better chance of a passing shower one or two in Belize down through Nicaragua uh, Panama over toward uh, Colombia seeing a hit or miss shower El Salvador Guatemala we may get one or two but just not a lot uh, Costa Rica by tomorrow better chance of some afternoon rain we'll see a few showers but there's the old front so as we work our way into tomorrow Antigua and Barbuda back toward Anguilla uh, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and again, Jamaica over toward Cuba, a passing shower chance, not a high chance, mainly dry tomorrow. St. Lucia, Barbados, Martinique, uh, Dominica, back through St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, spotty showers, Guyana and Suriname, Aruba and Curacao, not a lot. But let me move forward. I want to look ahead now as we get into the weekend and next week. And again, uh, spring break across the United States uh, ongoing now and in a lot of folks are coming down into the Caribbean. So we're thinking of our tourist industry, hospitality industry. This is by Tuesday of next week. So I'm going way ahead here. This is what's going to happen. And I talked about this a few videos ago. Again, we're not looking at a washout, but a late season front clipping by moving into South Florida and the Bahamas, some extra rain over toward the Bay of Campeche. And this front will move in in our northern tier. It'll drop the temp slightly and bring a chance of rain. Chance of rain is not super high, but it is a better chance of rain. North Northern and Western Caribbean, but from Aruba back through St. Lucia, Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago, mainly still on the dry side, aside from a slight chance of a passing shower. So not a lot of action in the Eastern Caribbean. We are going to be on the hot side and mainly dry. That better chance with the front will be our Northern and again, Western section. So I'll keep an eye on that. And we could see a couple fronts next week, another one later next week. Now getting into some forecasts and then I'll get to Freddie, Jamaica today, 84 degrees and you see that rain chance it's not super high but 30 percent is better than zero percent when we're dealing with water shortages water restrictions we'll take what we can get hopefully you get a passing shower if you get one let me know in the comments and i'll be watching that throughout the day as well i'm always watching weather uh as we take you into the u.s virgin islands british virgin islands 78 degrees today nice little breeze around we could get that passing shower with that front i showed you winds out of the west at 15 miles per hour and then trinidad and tobago the rain chance it's not going to be high over generally the long term even with that front next week most of the action stays away. Hit or, of course, it's hard to get fronts, period. But Trinidad and Tobago, 20% chance of a shower today. Wind southeast at 24 kilometers an hour and 30 degrees Celsius. So looking ahead, kind of what we're seeing, passing shower chance with the rain chance going up some. Not super high, but that rain chance will bounce back. Now that better chance next week, as I showed you with a front or two that will be skimming by our northern zones. This weekend, some of that dust that we've been seeing will be improving. And I'm currently working on the hurricane forecast. I was up early this morning, fine tuning that. So I'm going to be able to release that soon. So uh, I'm going to get into what I'm seeing for the upcoming hurricane season on this channel, share this channel, pass it along because I'm going to have that uh, released soon, hopefully by next week. I like to make sure I've got all that research done before, before I do it. So with that said, speaking of hurricanes, cyclones, all that stuff, let me get back to historic Freddy right now. This here is incredible. What you're looking at is the longest lived cyclone on the earth, period. It ties it today. It ties the record today from Hurricane, hurricane and Typhoon John. Different basins have different names. Hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones, all that sort of thing. It was a hurricane switched over to a typhoon in the Pacific Ocean. That was John back in 1994. This area of the globe, they're called cyclones, and it was an intense cyclone. So that would, you're kind of thinking category three hurricane. Uh, if you're watching from the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, Atlantic Basin over toward the United States. So it was an intense uh, cyclone. 
This is the live data I like to keep up and just kind of watching this, getting the real-time stuff for you. Uh, it was an intense cyclone with winds around 115 miles per hour. Now winds are at about 110, so dropping off ever so slightly. That puts it at about 175 kilometers an hour. It did just have winds over 180 kilometers an hour when it was that intense cyclone, some of the gusts to about 200 kilometers an hour. What happened was it moved into Madagascar, uh, back over towards Zimbabwe, near South, uh, uh, South Africa, uh, or Mozambique, I should say, and then some of the remnants did get into Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is over here, so we saw some rain getting in. But then it, it took its time, so the waters were able to kind of warm up again, because sometimes when a storm moves over the water, you get that upwelling. Some of the cooler water moves to the top, and these feed off of very warm water. So the waters were allowed to settle while, while it was inland over toward Mozambique and Zimbabwe, and then it moved back over and then kind of lifted into some areas that weren't as touched by this system, and it should maintain its strength. You see this kind of yellow shading here. That'll keep it a cyclone over the next several hours with winds around 100 miles per hour to about 105. So we're gonna see some winds over 150 kilometers an hour as again, it moves inland into Mozambique. So we're gonna see this working its way into Mozambique as we uh, start, the impacts are already starting along the coast, and then conditions will just go downhill as this moves in. You can see the track, and then eventually, yes, it is going to fall apart. But this landfall is more north. Again, when I was tracking this, uh, I guess a week ago, this has been going on forever, um, it, it was more central and southern Mozambique. Now the track is going to take it inland more into the central sections of Mozambique and then bring even some of the rain towards Zimbabwe. But once this moves in, then at this point it should fizzle out. But look at the path this took. This is uh, just something else. So this started, let me put a stop on this clock. Uh, again, this started over Indonesia. Uh, we were starting to see the signs of this in January. Think about that. It is March now. We are picking up on this on the computer models in mid-January. So the early start of the year, and then it started to develop in early February, and then made its way across, all the way across. You get systems here, that's not the rare part, but the fact that it hung together is rare. It's also rare that it moved into South uh, Africa. That doesn't often happen. And then it moved back and forth, and back and forth, and did spins and all this crazy stuff. And now it's making its way into Mozambique, and it's been lasting so long. Tomorrow will be day number 32 of this cyclone, which will be the all-time record out there uh, as far as this is concerned elsewhere, by the way, in Australia, system right there, that is uh, falling apart. So again, Southern Hemisphere seeing a lot of the uh, action this time of year. So one more look at this thing, and uh, I'll zoom down for you, put it back in a motion for you. This is it. You're watching Freddie here. Freddie about to make another landfall into Mozambique. I want you to know we're thinking of our friends there um, because of uh, this uh, uh, channel. We've been able to help, not, not that I'm doing it or you know we're doing it as a whole, but just to kind of give some advance warning. Again, the worst conditions are about to move in. Heaviest weather still offshore. So I do what I can to keep people safe on this channel. And uh, this just an absolutely historic storm, uh, just that it's been been out there so long thinking of our friends in Madagascar that took a one-two punch. It didn't actually make landfall. Let me zoom down on that for you. You can see when it moved its way back toward Madagascar, it didn't make landfall, but the impacts were there in the southwestern coast of Madagascar because you know these systems, they're so large that they were dealing with that for a solid day or two here. So we're thinking of our friends in Madagascar, and now this is making its way again toward Mozambique. Well, eventually it will fizzle out. We'll see how long it keeps us spinning once it moves on shore, but you see the higher cloud tops right there. Let me show you the winds in this. Uh, we could get over to the uh, winds in what we're seeing. I'll uh, zoom back out, and you can see the uh, winds here. I'm going to put on the gust, but you see the circulation right here. So the worst weather is not yet there. Now the spin in this, again, the different hemisphere, so you're getting that uh, clockwise spin here. Northern hemisphere, we get that counterclockwise spin. So generally, it's an offshore flow at this point, but as this pulls on, on shore, uh, we're going to see those winds kicking around, bringing that onshore flow um, into uh, a least the south central areas and that's where we're going to see some of the uh, flooding let me see if i could put on some of the uh, gust right now with this 
and you can see here this just kind of enhances it and you see the winds uh, this is small but I'm tracking it in the middle of this thing winds at about 90 miles per hour so again we're over uh, about 130 kilometers an hour here the in so right in the center of this again still that intense cyclone in the track will keep it roughly at about 100 miles per hour so you're looking at winds of about 150 kilometers an hour as it goes up and makes landfall but this is some of the uh, data we're seeing with the winds of this fortunately starting to calm down in Madagascar as this pulls away, but the worst weather is just offshore now of Mozambique. That's where uh, it is. You can see the winds here about 30 miles per hour. So you're looking at about uh, 45, 50 kilometers an hour. The breeze clearly starting to pick up, but then that worst weather will work in, especially as this uh, moves in over the next few hours. So conditions will be going downhill here. We're thinking of our friends in Mozambique. I'll keep an eye on this system, but this is history, the bad kind of history. You don't like to see this. Can't believe we're still talking about this system. So if you're from this area, please leave your comments. Please, please stay safe. Worst weather about to move in in Mozambique. It's going to last for a solid 24 hours, watching out for the flooding, obviously the coastal flooding, and dealing with the uh, the wind issues. Wind sustained at 100 at that landfall point with those gusts even higher in miles per hour. So thinking of you, thank you for being part of this channel, and uh, I'll keep you posted on this. Have a good day ahead.